So today we're gonna be playing with the G300S and I'm gonna play with my normal mouse, which is the Model D. Alright, so, this map, oh, no, I just bought three stone swords only. So, this mouse, I it was like the first gaming mouse I bought. I don't consider it really gaming, because I will say why. And if it is gaming, it's like a really low quality gaming mouse. Not precisely low quality on the build, just low quality in what is known as a gaming mouse. So. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Skip it about that though. I'm just gonna chill with this guy. Ah! <laughs> Alright, got him. So, why consider it kind of low quality mice? First of all, it's not. It, the clicks, I don't think it has that many clicks. If I remember correctly, I think it's like 10 million, which is really low for a gaming mouse. Like, normally. I don't know, consider it. they have like 50 million, 60 million, or even 70, uh, or the Cobra that has 90, but this one has like 10, so it's not gonna last us long. Um, and the aesthetics, it doesn't have really RGB, just changes light color, like that, with a predetermined color like you choose it depends on the it's it's profiles but yeah um i got this one because it was cheap it's because at the moment i was like i want a gaming mouse because i was playing with this old dude over here which already made a video about it well not a video but i played with it so I was like, I was like, I want a gaming mouse, so I'll get this one. Uh, I needed to save up money because my parents told me, no, you need to save your money and you buy it and it will be yours only. I'm like, all right, fine. So I saved up, but I was too impatient to save up for other mice. Also, I just went on Amazon. I was like, all right, gaming mouse, Logitech, because that was the brand I liked back then. I was like, yeah, I'll get this one. I didn't even check like a video reviews. I was like, nah, they will do. And hello, hello. I can't click properly. So it's like I'll get this one. I got it. I was super excited because it was like kind of one of my first shop of technology that I had on by myself. Uh, besides that, I think I only had uh, headphones or something. Something like that. So like, yes, I want this to arrive like right now. It was supposed, I think I bought it. I bought it a Wednesday and it said it would arrive on Saturday. And I was like super scared. I'm like, no, I want it to arrive right now. And I was like, so pinchy. And at the end, it arrived like Thursday, literal next day, and I'm like, yes! I had a channel back then, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna stream this, and I streamed, played some games with my channel with, I think I only had, like, maybe 100 subs. Please hit, please hit, please hit, it did not hit. By who? Before I get back, step back. Ah, oh, green. Great. Ah. Uh, and then afterwards, I was just like, yeah, I'll stick with this one. Uh, like, yeah. Ah, uh, get here, get here, get here, get here. Get here. Get here. Look at the kid. And I'm informing first because I don't trust myself to win a solos game with this mouse. And oh, what was I talking about? I lost my train of thought. 
And I remember, I was like so sad. I got this mouse at like maybe, I think around June or something. And after what, I started watching a specific YouTuber a lot. And I was like, oh, this guy's so cool. And then I found out he has the G502 and like, oh wait, that thing existed? <laughs> I was like just starting to get into gaming stuff. I just used to play with my good old default things I had. Like, oh, now I want that thing. So I just stayed and I was, I just waited. And I was like, I'll ask for the G502 for my birthday. Yeah, but my birthday is around the end of the year. So I was like, I had to wait a whole, like half a year. Hey KB, thank you. Bye. Forgot to buy tools. And I just waited and then I got the G502 and I was like, I don't want this thing anymore. Because <laughs> even though I was super excited and I don't want to sound like I I wasn't happy with what I had. Because even if I did, I, I mean, I bought it. I wasted my own money. So, yeah, no big deal. But the thing is, it got really uncomfortable because this thing has the clicks are on the inside and not on the outside. So you can't butterfly click. You can only jitter click or normal click. And I, um, I don't know how to jitter click correctly. I, on my Model B, I only like butterfly click, and I have like right here. Also, the size difference. The Model D's what bigger. I'm comparing now, so give me a second. The My hand uh, started to get bigger, and this mouse started to feel smaller. Even the Model D, I'd say, is like just the size. A little smaller, and I would feel uncomfortable with it. The only mouse I have felt like it's either bigger or like made for the shape of my hand is the model the logitech g502 because that thing is huge it's a big old mouse with big old things there's a dude in the bed they just went full on crazy mode i don't know why i got into my dog and cat oh they're right there just jump I can do my roof. Hi. Get absolutely wrecked with the jeep. Ah, ah. The mouse buttons also got into trouble because their positioning is really weird. And I just like, I don't know, I didn't like it. And I always misclick this little button. So I ended up changing it to my sword hotkey. Because if not, it, I would just keep misclicking it. Get yeah, absolutely uh, wrecked. Ha ha. Get wrecked. I mean, my bed's gone, but get wrecked. Wee! I just, I just wanted to show off this mouse. Uh, I give it a 6 out of 10. It's good, like, if you're just going to use it like an office mouse. It's not really made for gaming, so I wouldn't recommend it for that. Uh, it's really cheap though, so if you want to start with something simple, not an intense gamer, I mean it's fine, but it's like, I think it already got discontinued, so I don't know, it's weird. So yeah, that's all, and I will see you next time. That is all from Swim Sea.